At CES this year, Bell introduced its latest version of the Nexus eVTOL concept. Aviation Week got a first-hand look at what's changed since last year. So, uh, obviously the, 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 the most obvious uh, difference is four ducks versus six, but really we've been talking about Nexus as a family from the beginning. Uh, could be hybrid, could be electric, variations in configuration based on uh, what the mission requires, but with some common features, right? All electric motors powered by hybrid or battery power, ducted tilting rotors to be able to provide the lift and the forward projection, flight on wing for efficient flight so that you can get good range out of those batteries when you're full electric. So 4EX, four ducted rotors, electric experimental. This is targeted towards the urban market, specifically shorter ranges within cities, very quiet, very environmentally friendly. Aeros really is the operating system, so you think about the aircraft and that's really important. But to make this service come to reality so you and I can fly it, there has to be a backbone that operates all of the aircraft, keeps the separation, schedules them, monitors their health so that you can see how they're operating, puts them in for maintenance when they need it, make sure they get charged when they need it. So what you see in Bell City is that operating system at work with drones today, but ready for Nexus tomorrow. Aeros uh, specifically helps us monitor all of the states of the equipment on board, the battery states, the electric motors, all of the systems equipment so we can proactively deal with maintenance issues rather than waiting for something to break. We can replace or repair ahead of time. We can put uh, aircraft onto the system and off the system, make sure we're operating at peak efficiency, doing so safely and reliably at an affordable cost. In terms of the 4EX itself, obviously fully electric helps us with the, with the affordability and the, the redundancy of the system helps us with the reliability as well. So obviously, you know, we're going to be flying this aircraft within the next few years, but the intention is commercial services in the second half of the 2020s. So within this decade, we should see these in operation.